Hello and welcome to today's video. We are here for season two, episode number six, I believe, of our NASCAR Xfinity Series NASCAR Heat 2 Championship. And today, they got Dover and Pocono. Dover and Pocono. And now a quick look at the standings. We now have seven wins, 46 playoff points, followed by William Byron with one win, eight playoff points, Justin Allgaier, one win, six playoff points, and Ty Dillon as well. Also playoff points, Elliot Sattler with two, Ryan Reed with one, Blake Cook with one, of course those are drivers with playoff points in the playoffs. I don't know who else has them that are out of the playoffs right now. Don't believe so. All right. So. We have 505 points. And now it's time. All right, guys, we qualified seventh here at Dover. It's time to go. Time to get a win at Dover here in this series. We already won Dover last season, so no worries there for us. But I want to end off this recording session with nine wins. That means that we only have to win 14 more races for us. Clear all around. Low, low. Oh my god. You got it. Yellow flag, yellow flag. Easy, easy. We're in third, though. Interesting. Interesting. We're in third place. So, I kind of realized that. To tie the record. For wins from season one, we kind of have to win everything from Watkins Glen on out. Which is, first of all, yikes. And that's we just want to tie it. If we want to, like, break it, we got to win races the tracks we never won before and tracks we already won before. So this series is going to be difficult to break the record of wins in a single season. I really think it's going to be a real struggle to ever break the record in this series. Because winning 23 of 33 races, that means that we only have 10 races that we can't win. Or that we can lose, basically. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. But here we go across the line, winning stage number one at Dover. Very, very interesting development there. So we have 20 laps to go here. Of course, we're going to take a couple of those laps out of there. Check your belts. We're going to the green. When it comes okay, to out there. how else we're going to have left now. Clear, clear. At the line, we have. Oh, yeah, we have seven laps to go on this stage. But I'm sure we have like 15 laps. All clear, all clear. So when the stage is over, I'm sure we'll have like eight or nine laps left to race. Eight or nine laps left to race. Interesting. Interesting. In stressing. Overstressing. Understressing. De-stressing, re-stressing, compressing, depressing. Let me monitor his content. Because <sighs> it's depressing, yeah. Alright. <laughs> so, we're right here. We have five laps to go in stage number two of Dover. Well, we're going to wait through Dover relatively easy. It's a kind of small track. Kind of a little bit bigger, though, so it's got like... 25 laps. Alright, four to go here. In stage number two. It's kind of weird this video goes up at one o'clock in the one o'clock video slot on the channel. Uh, I'm considering re-changing up times for videos going up in 2018. Uh, I haven't really figured it out yet, but I'm considering changing the times. So 
So, I'm considering that, and I think that I'm going to sit down and look at it and try to figure it out. But, I'm not going to announce anything about upload times, but I got some plans for right. where I kind of want to take things upload wise. I think that changing up the upload times is a good idea. So you may have an hour in between uploads or whatever. But it's definitely not going to say 12, 1, and 2. <coughs> 2 is for when we have 3 minutes go up in a week, so like Saturdays. No, like Sundays from the rest of the year. So, when it hits 2018, um, I'm going to sit down and then I'm going to write it all out and kind of get it figured out because I think that changing the times is a good idea. Um, to keep it a little bit more fresh, I think. Because everything's going at the same times every week is the same. So I think in 2018 we're going to have a little bit of a change. And it's gonna be good, I think. I think it's a good decision to make that change. So, do we get new tires? That it was we picked, got tires and fuel? Because nobody else did. Get tires. Easy, easy. Hold your line. Was it easy? Kill yourself. Slut. Easy. Hold your line. Clear out low. Outside. Clear yeah, we just almost wrecked. Hold steady wheel. All clear, all clear. Holy shit. We're gonna pit for repairs here actually. We're in 39th. Uh I don't like what's happening here. Green. I'm gonna try to drive my way back to the front here. Hold a steady wheel. That's five to go. Five to go? Holy shit. Hold a steady wheel. Easy, easy. All right, Clear. so we are up to 27th. We can pass Logano. We can get up here. Outside, still there. I feel like we can drive through this entire field, but then again, it's really difficult to drive through the field here. Still a car out there. At Dover, so Clear all that high of hopes. I see this. This great charge to make installing out in like outside real tight. Tenth or clear something. Clear out low. Inside, good drive off here. All Maybe clear, tenth all clear. this run is gonna stall. I just don't think we can run all the way to the front here in two laps. Outside. The bottom's clear. Just don't think we can. Alright, so we've made it into clear. ten. Let's see if our run's gonna stall out here with only two laps to go. Two laps to go. Inside, he's on your bumper. Alright, so we've fallen back to 12th again. Caution, caution, caution. Watch for debris. Alright, caution is that we're in 12th place. Uh, that took a lot to get up here, though. It's crazy that there's 11 cars. Hey, you're ready? Look, look, hey, you're Nice and smooth here, we're going green. Three wide, covered on both sides. Right, good restart green, here. Go get it. We're gonna have to get go. somewhere quickly though. Hold a steady wheel. Yeah, I just couldn't I couldn't keep it down there and try to pass like I wanted to. Inside's still there. I'm gonna actually lose some spots on that restart really bad. Toss it out. Back or down. So back to sixteenth. 
So we're back further than we were in the last restart. It's it. Race is going green. Green flag. Like I'm really gonna have to get to the inside here. I'm really gonna have to. Two laps to go. If I want to make any shot at the lead here. That's what killed my chances in the last race. In the last restart. All clear. Still there, he's outside. I just had no shot at making it there. Low, low. Last lap. I don't think I can do this. The bottom's clear. We're gonna lose Dover. We won the first two stages at Dover. Clear low, stay low. But we did Hold not have enough to come out Bottom's here clear. and secure the win at Dover. Low, low. Clear up top. Alright, here we go. We are fourteenth at Hokino. Go, 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 go. There's only two laps in the first stage here at Hokino. This is one of the tracks we've not won yet this play th this series. This I think it's series, we have not, not won Pocono yet. Determined to win it. We only got one shot at it each season. So here we are in season number two. All clear, all clear. Trying to work our way through the front to the front of the field here. Clear quick. Already. Passing William Byron Risky on the outside. That's right, on the outside we risked it all. The whole run. Risked right there, a lot of momentum. But the clear on the outside get a little bit better entry to the corner. And take the lead in stage number one at Pocono. Alright, so lap number two, the final lap of this stage. Here we go. I'm gonna drive down into the corner here. We're gonna get back up into the gas, going down the back straight here. The longest straightaway here at Pocono. Don't scrape the wall. Get really close to the wall though because it's helpful. Alright, so now, down the back straight here, into the corner, the other back straight, I guess, there are two back straights, <laughs> into the corner, right along the white line, and yellow line, I guess they're both the lines there, and across the line. Alright. We're not going to pit, we're going to go here to stage number two with the lead this time. It's in. Okay, be smart out there, we're going green. Good to Still see, there. we got the lead. Go. We passed Wimbaud on the back straight away. The first straight here with... Clear. The first lap of stage number two, we took that lead and we really didn't let go of it. So right here, we were passing from 14th. We already got really far up the field the first time through, and right here, we were chasing down William Byron for the lead, and we risked it right up against the wall, a little bit further down here. And that was it. And that was super, super easy. We're going to most likely win both stages here because we got a good lead and if there's a caution that comes up, the stage is over. And if I make a mistake, I'll be able to block it. Like right there, I made a mistake on the exit, but we probably going to be a little bit of a run at me here, but I don't think he'll be able to get back by me. Or if he does, it'll be for a split second of contact and I'll take the lead back. <laughs> so I'm not too shooken by this race. Here we go, down the back straight yet again. Get up right next to that wall, as close as you can, really. Without really ruining your time. 
get around through this corner here. And there's six laps left on fuel. Tires are looking decent. I would say I can risk it running down pit road as fast as I can, but I'm gonna get stopped right there. Don't tell to make it yeah, right here right in time. So didn't want to risk it. I could have, could take the penalty, it wasn't matter. But I'll be fine. I will pit at the end of stage number two here though. For four tires and fuel, losing me twenty-one spots. So it looks like nobody else took tires then. Which, if I'm honest, I got six laps to get back up to the front. The way we've been running this race, not too concerned. The only thing I'm concerned about is passing in turn number two. A tunnel turn is always very, very difficult to make passes at. I know I won't be up there yet. Holy shit. There was a crash there. That's yikes. Ready. Steady. Race is going green. Outside, still there. The bottom's clear. Okay, so here we go. Into the Outside. corner here. We're going to get right into the bumper, Ryan Reed. I'm not too concerned here. We are in eighth place. Let's go down the back straight here. And we should be relatively close to taking the lead next time that we hit the line. We got my Blake Coke here. We may not pass Suarez this corner. We will have him by the end of the end of the straight here, honestly. Right into his draft. Three to go. He's gonna get a big shove into this corner here. That actually spun him out. That brought out a caution. Holy shit. That shove of him into the corner spun both of us out. I had so much speed okay, when I pushed him in the corner. There. Inside, still there. Two to go. I didn't think it was that much of a push, but... Steady. Clear quick. Obviously it was. Outside, hold your line. Clear high. So here we go. The run... to end it all. Two laps of Pocono. <sighs> Lap eighteen out of nineteen. Here we go, lap 19, now to 19. If there's a caution now, the race is over. Remember that, if there's a caution, the race is over. We don't have that much damage considering that we got spun out. Because again, any impacts that you take after the caution is out do not count in the game. Obviously for real, if you get hit, no matter when, you're taking damage, but in game it doesn't really matter. Uh, once you, once the caution waves, everybody's still gonna be hitting into each other, piling in. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You can hit up into the wall, you can spin around, but no tire wear was taken from my spin once the caution came out. So here we go, off a of turn number four, and across the line to win Pocono. That's another track that can be off of our tr track that you didn't win list. 
There we go. Win number eight on the season. We are halfway to the regular season record because we had eight. We had 16 wins in the regular season last time. We have eight this time. So with that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one.